Hey everyone, this is Sharon with the Grey Matters, and welcome to Chicken Police. I honestly cannot remember whether or not I checked, um, did a full questioning of Mullen the Beaver here, so we're gonna talk to him. It's gonna be. Eben's a ruthless gangster, that's for sure, but he's not bloodthirsty or stupid. You're not in danger until you're in his way, and that's not so easy to manage as the whole city's in his hands. That's terrible, hey! Obligatory polyarmory callback. Thank you very much, I am doing pretty good. How are you doing this? Fine, actually not bad day, it's not gotten too hot here, which is, you know, I'm probably jinxing something, but... You know, it's all all's well. How come they never tried to approach you, Uncle? What? <laughs> of course they tried. They wanted to buy the whole area and build some huge parking garage on it. Mongrel Mick, Ibn's number one pug, came the here and threatened me more and than put once. Up a parking if I hadn't lot. dug me heels in, the others would have sold up. The lawyers behind me, even Biff, the owner of Chandler's. But I told them, over my cold dead carcass. Oh no, cold dead beaver carcasses. That sounds horrible. Oh, looks like it worked. It's rainy and bleh here, and I started on call today, so meh. You have my sympathy. <laughs> I'm too much for them lads. Or I'm just too famous around here to get rid of. We could say Ibn's almost almighty, but he avoids scandal like rats avoid fire. He is a rat, so what does that saying mean in this context? That's terrible. Bow chicka. Beaver carcass, indeed. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm a poor nobody, my lads, but my name still carries meaning. That makes this you not a nobody. Belong to my family. If my dead body had been found here or in the times, it would have caused a scandal, even without any evidence. So, he usually listens to reason. Eh. Uh, when I talked to him tonight, he seemed confused, dissolute, and impetuous to me. I'm not sure any of those words work for the person I talk to, but okay. That's uncharacteristic. It yeah. Was him. Are you joking? Ibn Wessler's not usually confused with anyone else. Yeah, but how well do you know him? Does he have a twin brother? This is that kind of story. Of course I'm joking. Beaver humor, you know? <laughs> Nobody gets it. Not even the beavers. I may be a beaver, because nobody gets my humor, including me. <laughs> Good one again. Shut up, Marty. Hey, Martin, my lad, what's up? How's that beautiful wife of yours? Yeah, the one you keep trying to flirt on, not counting the gun. Laura's perfectly fine, thank you. Wow, you're a horrible liar. It's crazy you could grab an amazing woman like her, son. Are you blackmailing her with something? Beavers don't get it. Pow chicka indeed. Ah, I missed your famous beaver humor. Good. You're in good shape. You look more like a turkey than a rooster, if you ask me. He is kind of a turkey. Um, thanks. This is priceless. Thanks, Hercule. We'll be back again soon. And the beaver jokes will continue. Until hopefully morale improves. Yeah, sure will. Okay, what do you know about Monica? Nice girl. She used to come here for a while, but I, I think she moved downtown. Okay, there's something wrong with Monica. She doesn't talk to the beaver, everyone knows. Monica! Monica did it all! Yeah, she's the poster girl for workaholism. She lives in an apartment across from the PD, but sleeps at the station. If she sleeps at all. Hey, Ben! Beaver jokes can stop now. The gay will take it from here. Monica is straight. Oh, well, how would you know? Besides, it's a boy beaver. He's a kindly old gentleman beaver. And I will thank you not to speak of him in such a manner. I mean, I'll still thank you to make jokes, too, but... 
because Monica doesn't speak to the beaver. Oh, okay. I will. I will give you that one, Ben. I will. I will give you that one. Some animals just race and race through the years of their life until someone stops them and makes them wind down. Ben, and there's two cocks right there. Yes, yes, there is. Hey, is it the L wife or Thel wife? Let me know. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> and should have just taken your word. You're an expert. Yes, and I am nodding in yell yeah, agreement. Is there someone like that waiting for everyone? Loser wife. Cool. L wife. We will call you L wife. L wife, welcome to the screen. Stream. Ben is an expert on beaver. <laughs> you too. Indeed there is. Somewhere. <laughs> Usually not where we're looking for them. Mm. Yeah, right. See. Tell me about yourself, Hercule. Ben is an expert on gay. <laughs> He is self-proclaimed. How's Desiree? Wow, you don't know how to pronounce that name. But then again, this is a different world. Maybe that's how it's pronounced there. What about her? She's still beautiful, and she's still my wife. And I still don't get why she hasn't left me already. I hear that joke a lot. I heard that joke when I worked as a uh, cashier at the lumber yard. Because she's too much like you, you stubborn old damn builder. Okay, that's just racist. Then I've met enough chicken police for it to be considered an expertise. You see, uh, you're right about that. I'm ignoring you now. And uh, the cubs? Cubs? <laughs> More like jumbo cubs. John sees a hotshot lawyer in Galadia, and Timmy also left Clawville to try his luck in Grassmore. But who could blame them? L wife, chicken on beaver hate crime. Yes. Good move. Ah, yeah, but they visit me often, though. They're good kids. I know, pal. They're from a good litter. Ben says, I feel like it's a hate crime to ignore the gay. I am acknowledging the gay. I'm ignoring you, personally. <laughs> If you say so, sorry. And what do you know uh, you about know the about a woman um named Natasha Katsingo? I can't I can't make myself make that joke. I can't. Sonny boy, what have you the done? Kitty. We'll say the end? kitty. That lass is Evan Wessler's protege, to put it politely. She's the crown jewel of the city. A shining new star. If you dare talk to a gal such as her, you can expect some serious lead poisoning, me boy. There's a joke about lead poisoning that I always thought was really funny. I heard it first from my dad, but, um... The joke goes that, um... Somebody asked uh, if they would die if they jumped the fence in the fence in a power plant and went to you know how went to the reactor. Well, and my dad always said you know a guy he knew, which my dad worked in nuclear for a very long time, um, that you wouldn't that you would definitely die trying to get to the reactor. You would die of lead poisoning, you know, from all the armed guards. I can't tell that joke, and I realize I just massacred it. Most uh, terrible says no one would say such a thing. Oh, Ben would absolutely say it. OMG, here Ed was Homer Simpson. Um, honestly. 
dad was more, you know, that one guy who was in the plant for a while and then went mad because of Homer Simpson. There were Homer Simpsons working there. Well, I suppose I should have come to you first for advice. Doesn't matter now. We're in it, Uncle. Up to our combs. Lee the goat. Less terrible says Sharon's dad was scarier than Homer Simpson. Well, for a value thereof, my dad is a very nice guy. If you'll accept the advice of an old shaggy beaver, get to the end of it as quickly as you can, and try to make it out with all your feathers. Ah, pluck it. Yeah, that's the plan. But do you know anything about her? Anything, uh, interesting? As I've heard, Natasha is quite a mysterious lass. She came from the Stavonian Sardom and fled to Clawville, but from what? No one knows. Some years of her life are shrouded in mystery, and that really <laughs> means good. That's terrible, so Shaggy Beaver. You're right about that. So, uh, that's your advice? Be careful. Good advice. At least, silly boy. And one more thing. What's that? Never fall in love with a woman like her. Yeah, you're too late for this poor guy. Uh, Elwife says, did you ever watch Penny Dreadful? I did. It's been years, and I don't think I saw all of it, just because I honestly don't remember why I stopped watching it. I don't think it's because I didn't like it. I liked it. I think just I stopped watching it like the end of season one because the rest of it wasn't out yet and I never got back into it. Thanks, Hercule. I wasn't planning to. Sonny, I wasn't planning to, but it already happened. Nobody plans to, Sonny. Just take care of each other, okay? And always carry a good gun in your pocket. Oh, I always have one in every pocket, old-timer. Now I says, oh, it seems like your vibe. It is absolutely my vibe, and I do intend to get back to it and watch it. I honestly had forgotten about it for a while. Like I said, I think I watched season one, and I meant to get back into it when the you know, new season started. I just never did, and the watch list is ever-expanding. I know, Martin. I know. Okay, so... That's terrible. Is that a gun in your pocket, Martin? Honestly, from the sounds of it, the dude keeps shotguns in his pants. In the weirdest way. Let's see, what else new did we learn? That's terrible. Bow chicka. I don't know. You guys decide. We know where Natasha came to Clawville from, but there are several years in her life that are completely dark to us. Not even the all-knowing Mullen could tell us more about her. Ooh. Let's see who else we got info on. Ratman! Ben, there's a cream for that. Oh, Ben said mine is shrinking slowly, but surely. Ben, Les Terrible says there's a cream for that. Even's dirty little paws reach every dark corner in the city. Even good old Mullen was approached by his men several times. Meh. Monica's such a workaholic that she even moved to the into the block opposite of the PD. But despite the move, she still sleeps in the station very often. Well, maybe it's not a very nice apartment. Did you ever think of that? Ben says, in my case, it would be a blessing. Less terrible. Says, Mullen was approached by men. Y'all are all horrible. Okay, this this game lends itself way too easily to innuendo. Old Mullen's kids flew out of the nest a long time ago, but he's eternal and unstoppable. Just like some kind of ancient rock the city is built upon. Is Mullen a vampire? Vampire beaver? 
It's like Banicula, only worse. Ben, less terrible. Did you know the game man, that game men skew the size scale, by the way? It was interesting for me to learn about. Ben says, Mullen is me. Are you a vampire beaver, Ben? LY, let's start a van uh, vampire beaver. Yes! Someone else is gonna have to sing because y'all have heard me and I'm terrible. That's terrible? I'm sensitive about my size, Ben. I'm 5'9 and one of my sh the shorter folks in my office. Uh, Alright, let what's new here in the book? Okay, here we go. Grassmore is a savanna country that has been one of the colonies of Clawville for two centuries before gaining its freedom in 792. Grassmore is mostly inhabited by peaceful herbivore animals of exotic species. Oh, our uh, less terrible cherry sent to death or vampire beaver. I don't know. Vampire beaver may win today. And... Um, y'all are docking really fast over there. Okay, I can go back to the hotel. I can go to Clawville, the Czar Club, uh, or the PD, or the Czar Club. Let's go to the Czar Club. So what are we doing here again, Sonny? This is what the game is, lady. Keep up. I'm trying! I'm also know. trying to play a game here. Question, Natasha. I know. I feel shame. Tell me. Tell me what? You guys are scaring me. Do you think she's here? Who knows, Marty? We'll see. There's Filmar. Maybe he knows something. Shame and fame all at once. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's not drunk as a skunk. Stop projecting onto others, old chicken. Mm. Oh, your um, second song shall be Shame and Fame for yo. Vampire Beavers, I agree. Ah, uh, shut the clock up, Marty. No, I'm sorry I hurt your precious feelings, boss bird. See, now they're saying, ah, really close, Falcon. A wife, ooh, I could get behind the band in more mo ways than one. Bow chicka, indeed. Okay, let, let's... Filmar looks a bit soaked, doesn't he? You're standing in the rain. Well, it is raining. Thank you, Marty. I didn't mean the rain, Marty. Yeah, I know. That, how do you tell he has Falcon expressions? Which Falcons have one expression, which is pissed off. Or maybe confused. They have two. Two hey, expressions. Bird. What are you waiting for out here in the rain? The second song, Standing in the Rain, as compared to Singing in the Rain. Third song, yes. Of course. Captain Obvious, resting falcon face. <laughs> I may have this. Is that you, boys? I'm a little uh, tired. Or possibly drugged. I can see that, pal. Oh, it's all right. I just I can't find my car. I don't see very well in the rain. It's my eyesight pretty bad. I should wear glasses. Being drunk is still <laughs> being that. drugged. A hawk wearing glasses. I honestly... I, I don't blame anybody who does, but I do not get the appeal of being drunk. I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Shut up, Marty. Then I too can't see in the rain. Yeah, I have... You know, Rain, you know, being one thing, I actually...
actually have poor night vision, so like go out in the night and everybody will be like talking about what's going on there. It's like, I can't see anything! Oh, wife, have you tried opening your eyes? No. No, I have not. I refuse. I don't want to see. There ain't nothing funny about it, Snowflake. Ooh. Whoa, alright, sorry. Then I try that, but my glasses get wet, and then I can only see what my glasses... That my gl glasses have water on them. I am visually impaired. I wear glasses, but fortunately my eyesight's not that bad, and... The wasps are really bad outside right now, and every time you open the door, one tries to get in the house, and one has, and it's sitting on the blinds over there. As long as it stays over there, it can live. For now. But it's gonna die later. Then, my impairment is why I slept. Dude! Dude! I am- I am forbidding now your dad or your mama jokes. That- that is off the table. You've been warned. I'm pointing at you. I think. I'm not sure which direction you are. But consider yourself pointed at. And chastened by the experience. Oh, wife, have you tried not being visually impaired? <laughs> Single entendre? That's the fourth or fifth song. I forget what we're on. So your brother jokes, your grandpa, your brother! Point north and you'll be good. I can't tell which way is north in the house. I think I'm pointing towards it, but... Honestly, I am directionally challenged. Y'all have seen me play games. I get lost. You know that. Have you seen uh, Natasha or Ibn since we left? Ibn? He scarpered off a long time ago. Natasha? I haven't seen her. That says so you're directionally impaired. You played Call of Duty with me. Yes. Oh, I've just put in front of you. That's north. Yeah, we'll go with that. Wait, should I point up? Up so it's um, north on the mini-map, right? Thanks anyway, pal. Uh, good luck with finding your car. You, uh, want some help? Yeah, we might not should let this guy drive home, because the next thing he's gonna be dead. Then I was thinking more that you get distracted by the shinies. Well, that too... I mean, shinies. What's not to love? Could it be that I didn't come here by car? What do you think, Sonny? old friend. I may have to stop the stream at some point to go get my electrified tennis racket to kill this stupid wasp. He got in the house and he shouldn't be in here and I'm kind of hating him. I hate wasps. I am team spider. Wait, I have a spider in the corner. He lives up there. Dude, this is your job. Go for it. Okay. Vam uh, Less Terrible says Vampire Beaver, Songless, Cherry Scented Death, Sh Distracted by Shinies. Wow, we have like an entire album. Well, I wouldn't know that, Phil, but uh, you take care, all right? Get him a cab. Uh, you're telling me? <laughs> oh, Gray funny. Matter's blog is firmly against drinking and driving. Ben says, and the Grey Matters blog, Harmony and Peace, live with the wasp. No. Wasps should perish. Our wife is right. And Ben is also right. The new song will be uh, Live with the Wasp. Yeah, but the, it will be an ironic title to L wife. It will say Live with the Wasp, but it will talk about living with the wasp as the wasp dying. The lines, you can't live with them, so you have to kill them, will be in there. Not Elf, not any bug that should fly should die. I like butterflies. I bet you like butterflies. 
Okay. It's the Devil Bouncer! Let's go talk to the Devil Bouncer. Hey, that wife, um, the, the thing about bugs laying eggs in your ear. Everything flies up my head anyway, whether it has wings or not. I have had frogs, anything with wings, and fish fly at my head. So, I, I'm not about to, um, really get that down on all winged insects, but wasps. We, we do not get along. Hey, boys, tell me, is Natasha still inside? Is that a bobcat or a lynx? I think it's a bobcat? I can't give you any information about that, gentleman. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, the regulations. I know. We've gotten used to it. Yeah, the, the fish was as traumatized as I would. And I do say everything flies at my head. The thing is, with the fish flying at my head, I would say that that was a fluke and it's funny and it happened the one time. Except it didn't just happen the one time. It's happened twice. It's a French cat. It could still be a bobcat. It could be a Robert. It could be a Robert cat. I am glad to hear that. And your boss, Wessler? Can we find him in the VIP lounge? That's terrible. Everything heads up my flies. Okay, now I'm thinking I said that. Did I say that? Y'all y'all would tell me if I said that, right? I'm afraid I can't tell you that either. Dude. But we can take a look for ourselves, right? Okay, so far on the song list for Vampire Beaver, Beaver we have Cherry Sent to Death, Shame and Fame, Standing in the Rain, Your Brother, Distracted by Shinies, Live with the Wasp. Yeah. No problem, gentlemen. We totally tell you everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Wooly. And everything. You said it correctly. Thank you, Les Terrible. I'm less paranoid now. I, I do my daily checks to make sure I am not going completely mad. I only get to go a little mad. A little bit every day. Your friend's not the talkative type, is he? He understands what we're saying, right? Don't anger me, chicken, or I'll tear out your throat before you could say hemp seed. Go away, or I will taunt you a second time. Huh. Just try, Fleabag. And as Ben said, we all go mad together. We're all mad here, and it's all good. What do you object to, Ben? The going mad together or the Monty Python reference? Oh, he should have said he would take off his head. Oh, I've, I don't know. I, the, the accents on this are very, um... Very unique. I'm gonna say he's a French cat, just so I can make the Monty Python jokes about your father was a hap your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberry. Hey, folks, relax. The night's still young. We'll have plenty of time to tear each other's throats out, but right now we're busy. Ben says, "Ask him to say croissant." Croissant? Crescent? I'm going with Crescent. I'm from Texas. I can mispronounce things and, and then I just get um, marked off as an ignorant hick. Quacksant. That's probably what they're called in this world. Huh. You're right. Bye, guys. Goodbye, gentlemen. The sheep's just so polite. See anything interesting? Okay, let's go inside. This guy was here before, right? He's handling it pretty well. Handling what? And there are even more pretty dames all over him. You think they dig his antlers that much? 
No, just because people don't want to go for your comb over. More like his wallet, Marty. Oh, if, yeah, this is kind of like Sin City meets Zootopia. Including this is supposed to be the city that, um... Uh... Brings things, people together. Oh, I can't talk to the llama alpaca lady. Hey, Bar, Keep, what's up? Hello again, Bojack. Is that an honest to God Bojack Horseman reference, or is there another reference beyond Bojack Horseman that Bojack Horseman is referring to that I don't get? Which level of inception are we on? Please don't call me that, sir. You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, what's your name again? Well, if you really must know, I'm Lance, sir. Hello, Lancer. Oh, wife, that's what I was thinking, Ben. I'm surprised you're not allowed to maim or kill in this game. You don't. You just talk and ask questions. That's all you do in this game. That's terrible. We have to go deeper. A wife. I love him. Yes. Ben Lancer sounds gay. He's either gay or a California surfer dude or both. Okay, Lance. Listen, it's very important. Oh, please, sir. Don't get me involved in anything. I just want to get my shift over with and go home to sleep. Or possibly a stoner. So he's either gay, a stoner, or a California surfer dude, or all three. Or any combination of the two. Relax, there won't be a problem. Just answer the questions honestly. Oh, if I must, let's give it a try. <laughs> El wife, ¿por qué no los dos? Right, kid. Ben says it's because we put the chicken police in our mouths. Okay, Ben. You gotta tell me. Of the two, you gotta pick one. Are you going for Sony? Or are you going for Marty? Why, Marty's the white one, Sony's the drunken soft rooster, but he has this dark, mysterious past and is broody. Marty's the gun toting one. A wife, ew, indeed. <laughs> Even's the rat. I, I'm making Ben. I, ben wants to talk about cock, so okay, he's gotta pick between the two. Okay, so so uh, Ben's going for Marty. <laughs> That's fine. He doesn't sound that interested. Maybe you can make him settle down. That's terrible. Wait, does the... Does that make Chicken Police a speech impediment? Yes. Ben says, Bigger Bang! Lance. Uh... <laughs> We, we have gotten so far into the gutter, we're seeing Pennywise the Clown uh, down Lance. here. Yeah. They so, all float have you seen down Natasha here. Since her performance? No, no, don't ask me anything about Miss Kitsenko and Mr. Westler. It could cost me my job, or even more. Oh, life Ben suffers from I Can Fix Him Syndrome. Well, you did... Ben did try to, um get with Dracula thinking no if I if yeah we could be together that he won't kill the rest of my party in D&D yes I'm still giving you crap about that Ben says you have no idea how badly I suffer from it Ben suffers I even tried to fix the straight ones hey it's a matter because that's going well security. for you with your husband on paper it could be. <laughs> yeah, see, it could be. So, if you help, you won't only be helping us, but the <laughs> Crown and the whole city of Clawville. 
defenses. So I'm quite proud of seducing him. Hey, you totally seduced him by, like, being an awesome, you know, husband. Totally so well with my husband on paper. <laughs> oh, wife. I think I fr that's frowned upon these days. And now just have to get him to sleep in the same room. <laughs> oh, okay, alright, just stop that chicken shit, will ya? <laughs> I saw Natasha, yeah. She came down, spoke with someone, then stormed out the front door. Oh, that's terrible. Grey Matters does not condone roofies. Only roofs. Yes, the chicken shit joke was funny. And then what happened? She came right back in two or three minutes later, soaked to the bone. She was in a hurry. She went up to her suite, then came back down and left. Then, look, Rufy's work on me, not him. And you haven't seen her since. I genuinely haven't seen her ever since, sir. Thanks, Lance. You've been a great help. I'm happy to hear <laughs> that. So Natasha had left. Seems mm -hmm. so. But she never arrived at the weekend house. That we know of. Then? That's terrible. Came in, got soaked, came again, left. Bow chicka indeed, sir. Then we'll stay with the original plan. We'll gather our thoughts at the office and go over everything we know. You know, we're normally not this bad with other okay, games. Mockford, it's just this game. This game is horrible. I mean, I'm having a ball, but... Whatever you say, Sonny, what Natasha was doing on the stage, no man can ignore. Or woman, for that matter. It was a good song. I didn't say I ignored it, Marty. But you gotta learn to separate the client from the Most job. Most terrible blames Ben. Generally, it's safe to blame Ben. He's tough. He can take it. And we're not saying it's Ben's fault, but we are blaming him. Ben says, but there's, there may also be a guy who may eventually get talked into seeing y'all on D&D. And everything always. Blame Ben. Yes. Ben, the Russians blame me for invading Ukraine. Ah, that's a cheap script, son. Dude, dude, you know what did I tell you like about and you invading Western like European that. countries? Eastern European countries, yeah. You promised you would stop that shit. If you say so. Okay. Fox fella. Those terrible Russians evaded Ukraine to get Ben. A wife, hot European countries in your area. What? What? Want you to invade? <laughs> Drilling for his oil. Click here. I, I agree, that's a nice one, Elwife. Then it was the European guys who got that got me. It's the accents, isn't it? Everybody goes nuts for the accents. You think the guy's taking a shine to Olivia now? Why should I care? And while we're at it, why do you care? Me? <laughs> I, I don't care at all. Dude, you're married! And why do you ask? Everybody's all clicking in the comments. And Ben, I'm a sucker for their accents. It's like they said in the Suicide Squad. Squad, all, all you know, Americans go nuts for accents. Because we ain't got none. What? Stop bugging me. Ben says, of course, I'm married to a man who won't give me any. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Anything new on the Falcon? Hilmar is soaked to the bones. 
Ew, buddy, it's so cliche. What do you mean cliche? You're doing it too. R.I.P. says the L wife. Okay, so even left after the show. Marty dated Olivia for a short period of time. That's it. I don't want to know more about this. Then so sexless, sexless marriages gotta swing until he gives in. Okay, so where else can we go here? Okay, let's go to the PD. Phyllis and Roy's are nowhere to be seen. Praise the great wild ones. Praise the great wild ones! He's a real wild child? Shall we? Oh, I says that's my favorite prank brand. Well, let's hope this is a good omen. Maybe finally the pincushions have started to do something with themselves. Possibly get drunk somewhere where it's not raining? And maybe it's not a coincidence. Since we've just found a dead body, Marty. <laughs> yeah. What can I'll I let y'all settle I'm that. To get off, huh? Although just less like terrible about chicken, indeed. Well, let's just hope there won't be any more surprises tonight. You don't believe that, do you, boss? Okay, in we go. Hey, Chief! How you doing, buddy? Shouting in three, two, two one. one. And action. Mark, what the hell do you think you're doing? Expounding on your great... Um, dramatic tensions or timing, sir. We're just patrolling, sir. At the station? No, we're here for something else, sir. My wife says I have to go make coffee. I have a headache. See y'all next time. I uh, see you. A wife. I stream every weekday. I hope to see you there. Um, good luck on the headache. Coffee's great for that. You missed me, huh? No, sir. I mean, yes, sir. I, I mean... Why are you grinning, Santino? Because this is funny? I can't grin, sir. I have a beak. Nicely done, Sonny. Don't be cute. I can see it in your eyes. Should I close them, sir? Less terrible, or Ben says less terrible, that's what he said. Don't you peck at me, chicken, you hear? Uh, more innuendo incoming, We're isn't it? We're not even here anymore, Chief. We just quickly stopped by for something. More pecking? Get out of my sight. Yes, sir. Officer Barkman, one of Blood Boil's little protégés. Less terrible, I have no follow-up questions. Oh, that's a first. I'm gonna go play at the shooting range. Okay, even if I remember the crest, bigger the lion and the fox are than the other animals, you can barely see the crest. You know, maybe all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Animal Farm re references, ladies and gentlemen. Animal Farm. Huh. So that's why our king's a fox and not a sheep or a bird, right? It's maybe a little late, but you're starting to get it, detective. Uh... Should I talk to Monica? Ooh. I see the boss is ready to explode. Pierce. What did you expect? The madness kicked in, and he's got to be at the PD. Deputy Malloy's blind drunk. Mm. Uh, what's the name of the old man's wife again? Uh, poor lady. Hey, he seems like a faithful old hound. Marsha. She was waiting That's here terrible, for a while, says too, Martin makes it quick. take a few minutes. But as soon as they saw the state Malloy was in, she got into a taxi and went home. 
That was terrible. Yeah, that crest was absolutely not helpful. Ben Martin was always quick and less terrible. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Hey, a non-dirty reference! So that's why the old hound's so angry. Please, boys, don't make him more so, right? Sorry, Miss Monica. Unfortunately, I can't promise that, doll. As usual. Ben says it's always good for a quickie with Mark. Look what we found, Mon. Does this mean anything to you? It's beautiful. Embossed, gilded. These are rare. But I've never seen anything like this one before. Where's it from? <gasps> Those terrible said Monica's going to punish you, boys. I could totally see the hummingbird dominatrix. <laughs> Ben, share it. Hey, a non-dirty reference, me. Da 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 That was horrible. I'm afraid that's a secret, at least for now. You haven't taken vital evidence from a crime scene, I hope. Absolutely have. Not. Oh, what are you thinking? On my feathers. You're gonna be in trouble, boys. Oh. Gee, trouble. I wonder what that's like. Looks terrible. Ben smells blood in the water. Only if we don't wrap it up, Mon. Wrap what up? Listen, Mon, uh, that girl they found in Flowerville. Looks terrible. Ben smells blood in the water and trouble, boys. Whip crack. You've seen her, right? You bad, bad boys have seen her, right? Yes, we were first on the scene. Then, for me smelling a virgin in the water. Boys, uh, you know I should report you immediately, don't you? Would you like that? Would you like me to report you? I can't keep a straight face. Not with you two. We know, Mon. We're only asking for a little more time. We're hot on the trail. If you learn anything, would you, uh, please tell us? That's terrible, says, what does virgin smell like? And bow chicka. Hot. Are you crazy? I'm not reading that out loud, Ben. For one, I would laugh until I died. I would the screen stream would just sit there for the rest of the time. It would be like the Stanley Parable thing. You'd have to tell somebody that I was dead. Hey, keep it down. Blood boils right behind us. Yeah, he's got a nose, not good ears. Please, Mon. It's a matter of life and death. Well, death anyway. God damn. Okay. But only because I can see how much it means to you. Was terrible. Sure, it's back in the broom closet. Yep. Hey. I like the closet in there. It reminds me of my days in network cable running. Thanks, doll. We'll be forever grateful. And Filmar, Good old Filmar though. hasn't been sniffing around here recently. He's probably dead in a wreck because he wouldn't call him a taxi. Yeah, he was here a week and a half ago. He used the archives and took out some public records. That's terrible. Tell me about the triangle trough again. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Oh, and uh, he asked me out for a coffee. Less terrible says congrats on the anniversary, Ben. I hope you said no. Marty, you do not get to be jealous, you horny cock you. Why are you so interested, Marty? No, I'm not. I just... I'm just... Uh-huh. I told him no. 
Just like I told you no on all 25 occasions. That's terrible. He's subscribed. It's how... And... It shows in the chat, not in the stream. Oh, yeah! Thank you, Ben! It says, oh my god, four month anniversary. It's almost my long... <laughs> almost long as my longest relationship. Hey, you always have a relationship with us here. It's a weird, semi-abusive and deranged one, but, you know. And, I'm sorry, I didn't see your message. I have to look at the other thing, not the chat up there. To see it. <laughs> Less terrible, so semi. <sighs> it's Glad semi! Most abusive relationships fight to keep you in it. We fight to remember what the heck we were doing before we started talking about this. Dang. Ben. Lamal like Travis and I. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, a lot like that, actually, probably. Okay, so we talk to Monica. Hey, Mon. Is the boss, uh, angry today? Angry? That's an understatement. I see the New Year's madness has started. As normal, boys. The city's gone crazy, and we already have our first dead body. They found a girl in Flowerville. It's a nasty case. Those terrible says on our first fight. Think I AOE'd Ben. <laughs> what do we know about it? Ben, except you don't cook for me and I don't clean for you and you don't change my oil or open jars for me either. Hey, I'm good at opening jars. I have a specific rubber mat for it. And uh, we'll cook for you sometime, but yeah, the rest of it. Mostly, we're, we're an internet relationship. We say weird things to each other on the internet. <laughs> uh, less terrible. Change, change Ben's oil. Bow chicka. You know, Travis over there changing his oil. And uh, Ben saying he needs to get the rubber mat. You definitely do. It's ridiculous how much it actually helps it was a freebie from where i worked it's just a little circle of rubber that is has a rough texture on the bottom that um helps you you know twist it off and get a good grip and it's like one of the most usefully or deceptively useful kitchen implements i have and it was a free one uh, ben, I have no clue where to get one. Like I said, I got a free one at my work. Well, it's terrible, so it's been like rough texture. Sonny, you know I can't tell you. Oh, come on, Mon. I only have 120 days left. And we could pretend these are my last beautiful days. On my feathers, Sonny, stop that. It's so not your style. Yeah. Ah, he's been like this all day. Shut up, Marty. You Come could on, Mon. probably get one off most site internet sites. It's all like I really don't know where to get one. Like I said, I got one free off the internet, and you might could pick up a square of the material like at Hobby Lobby or something and just use that. But now I'm wondering where you would get one, because I love my little circle of rubber matting material. Alright. Though I don't know much. The girl was found inside a house. I won't tell you the address. I have a hunch you already know. No, not me. Why do you think that? Never mind. Anyway, she was naked, but there wasn't any sign of a struggle. There was a message written on the wall and on her back, too. Ben says, Ben likes it rough, but the texture is rather smooth. Just ask Marty and Sonny. Oh, so you're after them both now. That's terrible shave or nair. Nair is a horrible thing. If, if you've ever had your hair ripped out by hot wax, then you'd know. Uh, ben knows when he goes all cat boy, he nares. 
cluck, uh, cluck the shaving. That's all. Ben says it's not that bad on me. I, it, you're braver than I am. I, I don't like having my hair ripped out. Thanks, It Mom. hurts. You're not gonna ask what the message was? Uh, oh yeah, w what was it? You already know, don't you? No. <laughs> I'm an open book to you, Mon. Ben says, ooh, hot wax, me in a cat boy made outfit. <laughs> One I've read too many times. Uh, now, all we are missing is Travis. Yes. Can I go to the office no area now? There. Oh, come on, why do you have it there if I'm not allowed to go? Okay, so... Where can I go now? I figure I'll travel wherever I can. I can go back to the Zara Club. I can go to the newsstand. Or I can go to the hotel. Um, now let's go to the hotel. We had no choice but to continue the investigation where it started. <laughs> In that shady little apartment I called home. The only lead you live in a horror game. Us, with all those imposing names on it. But what could it mean? And why did Natasha keep it secret from Hey, Sam Spade! And most importantly, what did all this have to do with Deborah's death? The trail started to get cold, and so did the air outside. There was something unsettling in the black clouds. Hiding all the stars. It's called I pray rain. That they didn't bring an early snowfall. The night was already painful enough. Dude, you're so clucking dramatic. So, what are we doing here? Good question, Marty. Trying to calm down. I'll have a shot. Why were you riled up? Sure you will. Oh yeah, dead body. And we're trying to put the pieces together, of course. Figure out what's next. That is the question. And what is next, Boss Bird? That's what we're trying to figure out, Marty. Let's take a look at what we've learned so far. Okay. So, how did this whole case start? Is this the end? Yeah, investigate. Um... Uh, da, da, da. Natasha's key, letter, card, clue for the band there. Strange threats. Um, so, Deborah. Well, I think that's very relevant that Deborah is dead. Is Natasha and Molly? Okay. Uh, strange threats? Yes, that's going to be right. What do I do now? Um, so what, what am I doing here? Going to be, yeah. Hey, Paula, I... I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, okay. I go here. And there. And... The dynamics of this are not... clear. Am I supposed to know something? Well, 
least investigation threat. Yeah, I have no clue what's going on. Okay. Natasha and the threats, but what's the connection? They make her, A, they make her mysterious. B, she is the source of them. S or C, they clearly weren't for her. D, they were clearly addressed to her, which I, I think it's D in this case. Yeah, the threats are meant for Natasha, no doubt about that. That sounded positive. Um, Natasha is afraid. I could see her having threatened herself. Okay, calling card, Natasha's key. The Magnum. Okay, let's the card. Almost, but not quite. This is kind of hard to manipulate. Not sure. Could be important, but not now. Come back here. Okay, so that's but clue. There was something Natasha didn't speak about. Okay, so I'm saying she kept it. Yeah, it's a clue, not a thing. So I'm gonna say she didn't show it to us. She lied about it, or sh she kept a secret. I'm gonna say she kept a Natasha secret. Natasha is terrified, and she's in real danger. But she kept this list hidden from us. It seems too important to keep it a secret. Okay, so another person. Oh. Not her. This is just trial and error. What does Lewis have to do with anything? But what could we do with this list? Uh, it makes him suspicious. He's his version. He may know something know about it. One person who moves in circles high enough to know where it's from. Lewis. We must ask him if we want to get out of this dead end. Okay. Cool. We're going to go talk to Lewis. So the card is uh, uh, maybe a dead end. The piece of painting, too. Of course Lewis moves in circle. He's a rabbit and confused. But the list Filmar gave us... Exactly. Full of those imposing names. And I only know one person who moves in similar circles. Yeah, no wonder he went home. Lamar! Yes, Marty. It's Lewis. Exactly. Of course, <laughs> it's Lewis. But where do we find the bunny man? Well, since he owns this building, I'm hoping he's here. It's worth a call. You know his number? By heart. Five 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 nine three two. I wrote it down in my notebook as well. In his handy dandy notebook. Oh, you are a professional, boss bird. Indeed. Okay, and on that note, after that confusion and lack of explanation from the game, I'm going to call this a good time to quit. And I'll see y'all tomorrow at three o'clock for Borderlands. Y'all have a good one.